Hey guys, hi and welcome back to Vanta with Odi. Today on this episode of Vanta with Odi, I'm going to be doing a video people's opinions, female and male, on a particular subject for the girls and a particular subject for the guys. I asked the girls, like, why would you want to marry a rich husband? Someone asked me this question and I was like, oh my god, why actually? So I decided to ask a couple of girls to know why because I was actually shook when they asked me the question. And you'd be surprised at, like, the, um, the answers I got. Really different answers. People were actually shocking me with their answers. And yeah, I also asked the girls. I also asked the guys like, um, would you mind marrying a woman way more financially stable than you? I was shocked by all the answers I got from the guys. I expected like them to tell me something else. And they told me something else. I'm going to start with the females. <laughs> so continue watching to find out um, all the answers I got. Yes, girl. Because <laughs> I want to be comfortable when it's necessary. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't want, I never said that. I can't remember saying that. No. Mm. Not really. I don't care, honestly. I really don't care. <laughs> so you don't care if the person is poor? He won't be poor, but I mean, it's not like he's fighting. Alright. I have my own money though. So. Oh! <laughs> I don't want to marry a rich husband. I want to marry a wealthy <laughs> husband with a lot of money. Because you see, Money is very important. I cannot be overemphasized. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you assume I want to marry a rich husband? Oh, really? I think that finances are important, but they're not like the foremost thing you look at in a husband that you want to marry. Okay, so you don't care? You just want to just be comfortable? Yeah. Security is very important. So, uh, just give, he needs money to be able to ensure that we are secure. Basically, so that basic amenities you need money to have a to get a house, you need money to have a car, mobility, you need money to feed. You know, these are very important things that you cannot negotiate about. Always. Thank you. So, said I want to get married, married to a rich husband. Oh, you want to marry a poor person? No, I don't want to get married to a poor person. What do you not thought about that? I've actually never even thought about my, my future husband. Oh, okay, so it's just for. It's just for recognition. No, I don't know. I swear I don't know. My head is blank. I don't think anybody wants to marry a person. <laughs> but then, um, I don't know, just to be comfortable. So if I want to buy a car, or buy a house, or buy something, I don't have to like... I don't know. Money is just very important, I guess. See, if I'm going to be honest, it's just because I want to be comfortable. I don't like worrying about money in life. So really, I do not. So I think just for just to be comfortable. Yeah. Why everyone wants to marry each other? The same reason <laughs> to enjoy life. <laughs> So, if you don't marry a rich husband, you can't enjoy life? No, definitely, I can marry a man that is not rich, then we'll go together. But at least you should have something to start with, not just poor from start. It should be somewhere. So at least to be able to take care of your family. <laughs> well, when I was my rich husband, I'm not so particular about it, but I don't mind. I mean, you'll be comfortable financially, and um, you don't have to worry about a lot of stuff. Because mm -hmm. most things we provided, so mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And then part of being a Christian is also to you know be able to further the you know the things of God basically. So yeah, that's mostly what I want to you know, marry rich man. But not like it's a compulsory thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't mind if it doesn't have so much. Mm -hmm. So what exactly are you looking for? In a guy, as in your husband. Well, apart from physical appearance, yeah, I really like a guy who's hard working. I mean, willing to do it. A lot to make you know put things together, and someone who's got fearing obviously, and someone who truly loves, like loves like Christ. I mean, if you can love me the way Christ does, I mean, at least That's me. Amazing. I mean, <laughs> thank you. You look good. Thank you. Financially, no, why not? Yes. 
Uh, as long as I love her, maybe I'm richer than her, she's richer than me. As long as we both love each other and respect each other. Yeah, I leave my family, that is not the same with being, domi being dominant or something like that. Leading my family is because the Bible says I should lead my family. And leading family does not mean somebody is lower than the other person. It only means you are leading. Does not mean the person is inferior or you are superior. Yes, I would. Why? Why? Well, money is just... Money is just... For me, money really is just people. It doesn't determine power. It doesn't determine authority or anything. So. I wouldn't mind if someone has the biggest share of finance because it will help to reduce my stress. Okay. I could just be off looking for jobs and she's there helping out with buying things for the house and taking care so of the kids. So you really don't mind? Yeah, I, I don't mind. Yes, I will marry a woman for financial stable than me. But, but um, I wouldn't marry a woman way too financial stable than me. Because oh. I think there should be quality. If she is, like, after the relationship, yeah, that's fine. Like, no, no, no problem. But generally, I wouldn't. No, now come to think of it more critically. I don't think that's a fuck. <laughs> You're not going to use this video. You? <laughs> See comfort. <laughs> But, yes, I will. No problem. Yes, I, I don't have any problem with it. It just it only depends on how she views it. If it's going to be something that she could probably on my face, okay. You can always tell that from the early stages, but see comfort now. <laughs> what about you? Financially stable or not, I think it depends on the person. Yeah. At the end of the day, it depends on the person. So both my financially stable will still be cool. So my not financially stable and still be one way. So yes. It actually depends more on the person itself. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So yes. Oh, yeah. Thank you. It's, it's cool. Have an understanding. I believe the idea of marriage should be to be able to develop each other. So my role as a man should be to be able to give my wife a platform for me to be a, a better version of herself. You know, so even whether she's she has, that, should, that should be material. What's better she's a better person, what's what's important. Thank you. Yes. You that came out really fast, so yeah. why? Why? Following Shaw Lakija has a husband. So it depends on what you mean by way more financially stable. Okay, maybe if like I have one billion and my wife has one trillion, mm, she's more financially stable sense. than me. So yeah. Okay, so you you don't care. You don't I, care. I really don't care. It's really, it's really okay. Yeah, very okay. Oh, okay that's nice. Thank you. Look good. <laughs> to be honest, I'll prefer to be more financially stable. If okay. the, if I want both of us to be financially stable and financially smart. Okay. But if in the moment my wife is financially stable and i am not it's fine as well because i'm not the kind of person who isn't proactive who isn't someone who isn't who is laid back i think i will keep on working till i can either match or surpass i think there are different spectrums to where respect can come from it's not just finances yeah so i Biblically or spiritually, like men are usually referred to as the lead in the home. So there are different aspects to which I can come in as a lead. Financially is really important because like they say, money stops nonsense. <laughs> yeah, if it's not where I am at the time, everyone has their phases, their good times and bad times. So if it's someone that is financially stable when I'm not, it's fine. Yes, I would. Yes, you would. Okay. So, finances, uh, in as much as important, mm -hmm. yeah, they are way more important stuff. And I'm Christian and I believe the Holy Spirit influences. I believe she's going to express the fruits of the Spirit later, like, regardless of financial status. Because ideally, society says the man should be more financially capable. Mm -hmm. does, that, does that make me respect? Does that mean I'm going to disrespect my wife? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it, is, it does not. Finances is, is as much as important, it becomes one. And our finances become one eventually, and in future, I can be richer than her. Oh, yeah. But eventually, our money becomes ours. Mm -hmm. Yeah? I don't think I'm mentally prepared for that kind of life. I might. Eventually. But well, you don't man. think you would marry? I'm not thinking towards it. But if it happens, it happens. I don't think one is prepared for that. Like, uh, it's not something you prepare. It's not like, if it happens, it depends. Okay. If you guys have that understanding and you know that um, our personality or whatever extra she's got will not affect anything, 
or you know, it depends. It depends on the person. Yeah. So you don't. She respects you. Though. Yeah, the, the respect. If the respect is there, the that's why I said depending on the person she now. If she, if she, if she's got the quality, like she doesn't look the, uh, allow the extra to affect anything. Ah, I think we'll just keep the bullshit outside first. You know? Talk about the person. Okay. Thank you. You look good. I don't want to be stressed. <laughs> like, I don't want to be stressed. Do you want to be stressed? I don't no. want to be stressed. So, so no, we have to work hard. <laughs> you can't love a poor man. I can love a poor man, but marriage, haba, there are responsibilities, there are kids, there are um, upkeep in the house. I mean, you can't be poor in marriage. Thank you. you Cause now me you go follow to the day we die. Well, actually, yes, I would. I sincerely have no problem with that because, in the end, like I, I think I'm confident in myself, and I actually do not get intimidated by women. So, uh, I think it's more about how I feel about her. Like because for me, the six figures and nine figures is just what she has in her back account. As long as she doesn't rub it in my face or disrespect me in the process, that make me feel like because she earns more, then I'm less. But I think that I'm dating a woman, not really her account, and eventually. It clashes for all of us. I think there's something I always say when people ask me questions like this. Like, uh, I say that I actually have don't have a problem dating a powerful woman or marrying a powerful woman, a very financially stable woman. Because it says more of me than it says about her. Because it takes a whole lot for her to want to submit to a guy like me. So, I I, I think it's that's enough confidence to have in itself. So, I'm not into it. Yeah, that's it. I see. All right. Thank you. I think that it's kind of like a joint effort. So the money you earn is your own. No, I kind of feel like it's meant to be joint. It's ours. Yeah. The money I earn is ours. The money you earn is ours. It's kind of yeah. more like mine. Cause like, like more of mine, mine. but then his, but then ours, but then yeah, more ours. of mine. Yeah, right. Thank you. Everybody's money is everybody's money. <laughs> so I think it's supposed to be a plan on how to share the money. Mm -hmm. Or how finances should go, you should have that plan before you can get married, right? Right. So what do you think? Um, basically, I think a, a plan, like whatever the agreement is, is what it should be. Um, but at the same time, personally, I would, I would more like, okay, your money is your money, my money is your money, and then we have a pool of our money. Okay. Or like, that we used to set to like, all that stuff. But if I'm going on my own personal expense, I'm going on my money. If you're going to your own personal shop, you're going on your money, that kind of thing. Unless mm -hmm. I want to do so there should be like a joint account and it should be like individual I know it's a joint, but if we have, uh, if we have uh, an expense pool, that we know that this is what we both contribute to running up the family. Yeah, but then every other thing is ended up is your personal business. Yeah. I think both money is for both parties. So you don't want her to say, ah, keep your money, let me spend. No, no, no. Her money is hers. Has, her money is mine. That's my thoughts. What's your thoughts? Yeah, I think partnership is all that. Yeah. So you, you think, but what if you need to like do something individually? Do you know? No, you, you have your money. It's your money. So you're going to use it for things that are personal to you. But when it comes to us joining funds together, mm -hmm. to our money stuff. is our money. Yeah, to do stuff. But if you want to do your personal thing, you can take from your money. Mm -hmm. Your money is your money. My money is my money. Your but money uh, my, my money is still your money. And your money is still my money. Thank, Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Okay, so if you got to this point in this video and you haven't subscribed or liked or commented in the comment section or be like said anything, then you're wrong. Like, subscribe, like, share, do whatever you want to do, just make this fun. My own opinion on everything, I would like uh, many guys. I'm shocked that a lot of guys are going to actually stay with someone that's gonna be like way more financially stable than them because i expected boys or men to be like the alpha male oh no nobody's gonna have more money than me you know stuff like that but i was actually really surprised like that gave me hope that um the world is becoming a better place <laughs> my own answer was basically because i've gotten to this point in my life where i'm i'm sort of comfortable right and it's be only right for me to go up no going down in this life I have worked so hard to get to where I am right now and I wouldn't for any reason want to go down. I mean, for whatever, backward never, if you get what I mean. Rich, but you should be comfortable. I mean, above my own comfort, if you get what I mean. People are working hard together. You have your money, he has money, he's both, he's you guys money and all of that. I was also surprised that the world is becoming a better place again, right? So everybody's saying, 
my money is our money regardless of gender man's own is our own woman's own is our own so i mean that is the best that's a good way to think i think we are getting somewhere in in life so i'm holding my camera and my hand hurts at this point i don't know let's just keep educating ourselves um a man should dominate and i mean yeah he should dominate he should but i mean in a situation where a woman makes more money than you does not mean that you are less of a man the fact that someone wants to marry a rich husband does not mean that the person is a gold digger you just want to be comfortable so yeah thank you for watching this video don't forget to subscribe like comment and share this video also i'd like to know what you think would you marry a woman way more financially stable than you yes or no if yes give me your reason if no give me your reason why do you want to marry a rich husband girls women out there is your money is the man's money our money and is the woman's money her money let me know what you think your opinion is your opinion strictly your opinion i don't even i don't even i'm not even like that so guys let me know and have a fantastic day bye guys